part of the question gets asked is, are they sending a signal, right? The public looks at the NFL as, as uh, in the players as role models. And to the extent that there is a, and what the phrase I was looking for was see no evil, hear no evil, um, right. you know, let's not, let's not even pay attention to it, at least as of now, knowing, by the way, that obviously asymptomatic folks can still transmit it to others and there can be community right. spread and the like. How to think about that? I, I, I think it's just as it, it's kind of the only way to think about it is is a pandemic that's now uh, going on to year three, maybe, and then how to best manage it. So I don't I don't think it's uh, 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 certainly doesn't feel like it's a, a political issue. It's really more just health and safety of the players and how to make right. sure that the the ones that are uh, asymptomatic and that uh, and you know feel like they can get on the field and go play. I, I think it's working with all the regulatory issues issues of the CDC and everything else within that framework they they're trying to find a way to make sure that people are are healthy that they can be able to play so i right. look you right. ask good questions these are challenges the nfl's had i think this is more the maturity of the of dealing with the pandemic and how they how they find the best way to do it and real quick what are you talking to any players are they is are there any players out there saying you know what i don't like this policy it's still it's still early. I don't. I mean, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out, especially as it gets in the winter, and the playoffs. And in you know, I, I, look, what they don't want to do is be in a situation where you can't feel the team in, in in a playoff game. And they were able to get through that last year. Um, and I got to believe that that's a part of what they're trying to do here. Steve, uh, one of the reasons we wanted to talk to you this morning beyond uh, COVID and what's happening inside the NFL is an announcement that you folks are making at Integrity uh, that I, I know has surprised a lot of your employees uh, very happily during this holiday season. You just took a big investment uh, from Silver Lake Investments, and uh, some of that money is now ending up in the pocket of a lot of employees and some of whom didn't even realize it. Well, it's I got to, you know, Brian's on with me here now, you know, in our uh, portfolio of companies and integrity. We went to Nor uh, Norfolk, Nebraska, where they were uh, located at the time. Now they got the shared services in Dallas, and, and it's grown uh, exponentially from when we invested six or seven years ago. And Brian came to me a couple of years ago and said, "Steve, I, I want our employees. I want them to own the business, and uh, and I want to make some kind of equity grant to them." And it was a, you know, I, you know, a lot of people could say, "Oh, is that the right thing to do?" I think my experience from the NFL, the NFL has thrived once they made a partnership with players and owners. Owners and players were always so separate, and there was this big chasm and canyon between them. And when they finally, in about 2000, came together and created a sense of partnership, that's when the NFL has truly thrived. So I, that immediately resonated with me what Brian was trying to do. It makes a lot of sense. And maybe that's the future of, of corporate America is that we start to figure out ways to give equity to the, to the employees. And when Brian wanted to do that, it was $50 million to put it in the pockets of, of the employees. And now here's another $125 million. It just shows you once you do it and you're a growing, thriving business, the employees are the are the ones that really drive the success of the business, and now they can own that success. And I got to give Brian a lot of credit for coming up with that idea. So, Brian, one hundred twenty-five million dollars. You surprised the whole at the whole group. What what did you hear? I, I, I hope I, I hope you have this film somewhere, or is everybody remote at this this point? No, listen, it's it's been an incredible experience. In fact, I traveled all over the country last week, met with over two thousand of our employees, and shared this news with them in person. Uh, with in, in flying four or five states a day, literally popping in to each one of our offices and sharing this incredible news about this new ownership program. I came to Steve two years ago with this idea uh, uh, really about just that if we all came together, we could all accomplish more. And we've seen outsized returns with integrity uh, and really this opportunity to be able to share this with our employees is one of the greatest joys that we could ever have. And so uh, we paid out $50 million two years ago, and, that, and then this week we're paying out $125 million to all of our employees uh, to really help them share in the success of what we're building here.